like watching birds and like chilling out outside, but for the most part, I just think about printmaking. My name is Leslie Duguid. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, living in Brooklyn now, and I am the owner, founder, production workhorse behind Duguid Press. Carry on strong, and the strength that I possess, and your tenderness, because I, oh, I say, I say, I really love. I got into printmaking through just tinkering with a lot of different types of art and nothing quite sticking. Really was into watercolor, drawing, just technically using my hands to reproduce stuff that was there. Um, you know, drawing as a kid was something that I could zone out on and, and kind of calm down with in, in a way that, that made learning with my hands possible. Screen printing is cool because it's versatile. It's quick. You can do it anywhere, right? In a park, you know, outside. I choose to, you know, devote my life to it at this point because I've invested a lot of time in just growing my knowledge in that one department. So screen printing is where I'm at. Today I'm just separating out B Annalie's work and coming up with a new strategy I thought of this morning that is gonna be a good underbase to get all the colors situated. And then I can just kind of tint things in a bit of more juicy direction that they're already headed in. I can't quite predict what that would look like, but the original is quite juicy, satisfying, and has many a color to chew on. Um, I learned a few new techniques in being able to have the original in order to work off of. These films, Alexander Henrici calls them plates. Mm -hmm. That is the old school way to think of it because you can hand paint plates of plastic or whatever and expose that to screens. It's a stencil. We need to prepare an area to rinse this, which is outside. Um, this is my hose. <laughs> my grandpa started Do Good Chemical Laboratory and Manufacturers in the 1940s in St. Louis, Missouri. And in doing so, he elevated his own innovation with creating a business where he could take care of who he wanted to serve. Um, rather than passing as white it, at the time and working for companies that didn't hire black people. Uh, my dad, in between us, uh, actually wrote a book about him called Our Fathers Making Black Men. And in reading that, I became so much more connected with what my grandfather started and did and uh, understood his values with how he decided to do something different and operate in a neighborhood and a community that he could help grow. Um, you know, with the labor and support of children and adults and for people that he was trying to serve in the community. And I want to use that same model to grow what I know in printmaking, do good press. But I'm also finding so many parallels between how science works and colors and nature and all that. So I don't want to be just known as the first black woman doing this. I'm also doing it in a super weird, interesting way because my perspective in general is different than what's already out there. The status quo that's existed exists that way because the market made that happen. I'm creating a whole different market of people that can be supportive out of how I can make this whole thing happen. But me being a black woman specifically goes to my own ingenuity and creative thinking. That's the goal of what Do Good Press is. I think that we can change the way we consume media culture and think more long-term about the valuing the things that are around us. And I think that art is a good form of what the fruits of our labor can look like. But as we grow more brown as a country, I would like to help represent what creativity looks like in, from my point of view. I mean, to grow into a storefront print shop, I'm basically taking the blueprint of what my grandfather started. He also taught at colleges. He taught chemistry in, in the ways that like science can be supported and you can kind of collaborate with different scientists and have grad school students help you in your research and all that. I want that to be something that can happen in art industry and creative craftsmanship. And that goes across all kinds of fabrication elements to be a leader in my community because I think that being at the top of, of what I can create and what I can own and what I can handle here needs to be grown and supported by a community that also looks like me, you know? Diversify in order 
to then be inclusive, right? To, to make that market and economy grow naturally. I just love that mural, but it's hard to tell, like, will it ever be touched up again? It almost doesn't need it. Rita Menissi, she's a friend of mine. She has all these psychological connections with how movement relates to your sense of self and, and others, and, and that being physically represented in a tree. And the way trees are so old, you know, they can live a lot longer than us. We're basically ants to them, in a way. We're at their middle point, you know what I mean? In our scope on this world, on our surface. They start as seeds and grow their roots, and the better the soil is, the bigger they get, the better they, you know, get nutrients from their surroundings. If we can prune ourselves to work in a direction that gives us the best fruits, we can plump off of our stems in a way that's like well-made, well-groomed, and not trying to grow giant, but to just make good fruits. <laughs> I exist better in a little bit of a shade area, you know? I don't want to be fully exposed to the world, and I think that with the Googles and connectedness that we have online and social media, value, evaluating everything in our services and industries all the time, like, you don't really get to focus on your product as much. You're too concerned with getting it out there and then getting it to people, but you really need to focus on that production being made healthily for an economy of people to be supported and for that person putting in their labor to make it great. I'm basically printing money, you know? I'm determining the value of these things with the craftsmanship that I put into it. I want to grow what I've started to be more public so that what my grandfather did can have a presence in this 2021 economy that needs to be supported by individuals who have the capacity to mentor and bring to light some of the STEAM jobs where collaborations with engineering, arts, sciences, math can look a different way to support more people. Because right now, working for people and having a, a job looks different for different people and, and you can have your own caretaker roles in, in different ways of your life that are separate from that. But to incorporate all of them together and have those relationships built on what prints can be made out of and friendships too with that uh, becomes just a passionate lifestyle that I want to grow and that's the direction that I feel most comfortable with.